what do you think wrong with this set? Well, if you ask me, I will tell you that. And my name is Janique Wesley. Hey guys, Father Chandu Pasley, and make sure that you subscribe. And Janique, what are we going to do today? Sex. What topic are we going to teach today? Sex. Right, so if you are a high school student, yes, you can also learn Primary student, this. grade 4, 5, and 6, you can also watch this video. Yes. Because this video is specially um, created for you. Yeah, that's right. So make sure that you subscribe. And Jenny yeah. means subscribe. <laughs> yes, we get yes. it, baby. Yes, we get it. Right? So I am happy to have you on my channel today. And, and I'm his guest. Yes, you are my little guest. And I know that you love mathematics. Mathematics is, is now your favorite subject. Yes. What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Right? Here are some examples of well-defined set. Right? The word well-defined. So here are some examples of well-defined sets. Set A contain contain vowels in the english alphabet so this is well defined because we know that in the english alphabet there are five vowels in the english alphabet therefore this set is very clear right hence it is well defined so let us look at example number two. Set B equal colors of the rainbow. Is this a well-defined set? Yes, it is. It is a well-defined set because we know that there are seven colors of the rainbow and set B contain those colors. Therefore, those colors would be members or elements of set B. So you set A contain vowels in the English alphabet. Set A would be set A. So set A equal. So we use a curly bracket, open curly bracket. So what alphabet? We know that A would be the first letter. E would be the second and we have I and we have O U so we're gonna close the bracket we have two close so these are the members of set A however these are vowels in the English alphabet so this is what so this is so this is set A so we have A E I O U and we close the bracket. So when they say that set A equal or contain or consists of vowels in the English alphabet, they are telling us that we should list the members of set A and the members of set A should be vowels in the English alphabet. Therefore, so these are the members of set A. So we know our vowel of the alphabet, English alphabet. So we have A, E, I, O, U. So let us look at set B. Let us the rainbow. So we need to list those members. So this is set B. So we're going to list the members of set B. Right? So do you know the colors of the rainbow? There are seven colors. The rainbow has seven colors. We have red, so we can use so we can use R for red. So R represents red. 
we have orange, so we use O to represent orange, G to represent green, B to represent blue, I to represent indigo, V to represent violet, and Y. So these are the, these are the members of set B, right? This is set B equal red, orange, green, blue, indigo, violet, yellow, right? So this is set B, and this is a well-defined set. Let us look at some not well-defined sets. Here are some examples. Tall students in our class. Example number one. Tall students in our class. Is this a well-defined set? We could set a condition to make this a, a well-defined set by saying students above seven feet is students are tall students so that would be a well-defined you get that so let us look at example number two strong students in our class right strong students in our class how do you know when a student is strong how do you measure it <laughs> well Strong students in our class is not a well-defined set. We could set a condition to make it a defined set by saying students who weigh, one, weigh more than 140 pounds, he or she is considered to be a strong student. Right? So let us look at representation of sets. We can use listing method or raster method. Right? And we can also use set builder method to represent sets. So look at this example here. So set A the set of letters in the word mathematics so they are saying that set a consists of the letters in the word mathematics right so look at this one here set a equal in bracket we have mathematics what do you think wrong with this set well if you ask me i will tell you that no letter or numbers should be repeated in a set. Therefore, this set is incorrect. So I have an X here to show you that this set is not correct. Right? Because if you look closely, you will see that A repeated, T repeated, Therefore, this is not the proper way to represent a set. M also repeated as well. You see that? So, this is the correct way to represent the set. To represent set A. M-A-T-H-E-I-C-S. This is the correct way. Right? So this is the end of another interesting lesson. And if you want part two, like, share, subscribe. So people, comment below and tell me what you have learned from this lesson. Or if you learned something new from this lesson. You can also share with your friends, your family member share this video with them right because i i know that 
a lot of persons are struggling in mathematics and would love to get some assistance right so thank you for watching learn with the parsley's see you next time okay like miss kitty talk yes, like miss kitty okay.